Um, and you would think like the people in Texas ding, uh, would have their shit together uh, as far as like hurricane prep. And, not, and when I'm, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking specifically about the uh, power company, Centerport, Centerpoint. Uh, we've been talking about them this week about how they had a poor response. Uh, and now uh, there may be some more answers to what's going on. Uh, so this is uh, WFAA. And uh, they're going to uh, give us the straight poop on what's going on right now. Pressure is mounting today on Houston's power utility as more than a million people remain without electricity three very hot and sweaty days after Hurricane Barrel made landfall there. This is raising questions over how a city that should be familiar with destructive weather was unable to better withstand a Category 1 hurricane. Centerpoint Energy says it has restored service to more than a million of the 2.2 million customers impacted by the storm. Still a long way to go, though. They say they expect, though, to have an additional 400,000 customers back online by the end of the day tomorrow and another 350,000 online by the end of the weekend. Centerpoint says before the hurricane's arrival, the uh, company requested 2,500 outside workers to come in to restore power to those affected areas. Uh, that wasn't going to be nearly enough. After the hurricane moved through, that 2,500 workers was increased to 12,000 repair workers. Yeah. So, uh, they're, they're still, uh, still dealing with the shit down there. Um, and, uh, you know, we reported the other day that, uh, who's, uh, acting governor Dan Patrick, uh, was running the show and, and, and then I didn't really have time to find out what was going on. So, you know, I went with the story and then afterwards I was reading some stuff and then somebody said, Hey, where the hell was the regular governor of Texas uh, while this was going on? Well, uh, turns out old uh, Gregory uh, took a took a page out of uh, Ted Cruz's uh, "Let's get the fuck out of Dodge" uh, playbook. This is this is ridiculous. These motherfuckers. So this is from uh, where's this from? Uh, the New Republic. Uh, Hafiz Rashid is the byline. Greg Abbott traipses off to Asia as Hurricane Barrel pummels Texas. It seems the Texas governor is taking inspiration from Ted Cruz's infamous Cancun trip, dipping just as a natural disaster hits his state. Yeah. Um, so while Tropical Storm, Storm Barrel made land for uh, as a category one hurricane on Monday on the Texas coast, knocking out power to at least 2 million homes, killing at least two people. Governor Greg Abbott was enjoying a trip to East Asia. Where is that? Uh, there you go, Rick. Privatization is one hell of a drug. Fuck you people. I'm going to make some money. Uh, Abbott left for South Korea, Taiwan, and Japan on Friday as the storm uh, was foremost to hit Texas on Monday. He went ahead with his nine-day trip anyway to, quote, drive forward progress in industries critical to the future of the global economy, according to a press release from his office. Many in Texas and on social media didn't see it that way, as uh, Abbott's trip seemed uh, quite similar to, as we said, Ted Cruz's uh, 2021 trip to uh, when he bolted to Mexico uh, when... Uh, the power grid was hit. It was a what was that was the uh when uh, in the winter, right? And you guys were down there in Texas were having like the hard freezes and the power lines were snapping and shit and and Ted Cruz is like having pina coladas. Um also uh Barrel's eye went right through Houston, got the strongest part of the storm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That it was right on that northeastern tip there. Uh, and I remember Ike too. Ike years ago was a stronger storm, but the eye didn't pass through uh, Houston pop uh, proper. Uh, they underestimated barrel. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, Rick, uh, Ike was like a really slow moving. It was churning. It was like sitting on Houston for like a couple of days, I think. Right. I mean, I could be wrong, um, but barrel was just like 
it just stayed solid, right? It wasn't, it, yeah, it was ha it was a category one, which is nothing to sneeze at, but the winds died down, you know, as you would expect as it makes landfall, but, you know, but it, and, and it just kept cruising and cruising, no pun intended, uh, up through the middle of the thing. Uh, so many in Texas and on social media didn't see it that way. They thought it was it was you know, similar to cruises. The Lose Cruise Pack pointed out that Cruise was also whale watching in Southern California over the weekend. Oh, look at that. You got wheels on one side and heels on the other. That's cute. Cruise himself did post a video on Monday near a flooded highway in Houston. Houston. Wait a minute. Houston and the entire Gulf Coast will come through the aftermath of Hurricane Barrel. Right now, keep your family safe. Boy, I'm work. Ding. One Texan pointed out the arrogance from Texas Republicans. Don't think Greg out of it uh, schmoozing in East Asia while a hurricane hits Texas, leaving two million without power is him being stupid. It's stunning arrogance, like going to a fundraiser the evening of the Uvalde massacre. Abbott doesn't care and is daring voters to do something about it. That's that's true. He's got the lockdown on Texas. He will that they he could do the shittiest thing. They'll still reelect him. That's crazy. And not all people in Texas. I'm not saying all of them, but the ones that actually control shit, those are the ones you gotta watch out for. And then uh this guy, Eric Swallowell, swallows well. I don't know what the fuck name. He was bitching about it. I don't really want to give him any press. Uh, he said, Abbott seemed to foresee a backlash on Sunday, posting a statement saying he was in daily contact with Texas Division of Emergency Management, local officials to ensure preparation of a good barrel. Your safety is our top concern. <laughs> Your safety is our top concern. We value you here on our Boeing airplane. Don't worry about the uh, wi wing falling off. <laughs> 